join me Wednesday nights when we showcase some of my favorite episodes with new and original behind the scenes commentary. Stay safe, stay home, and stay tuned. Speed limit 10, you see that, right? It does say speed limit 10. It does. I like it. You don't have to be a redneck to know that Jeff Foxworthy is one of the funniest guys around. Women always have more questions than men have answers to. Great example of this. Six, seven months ago, I get a text one day. The text says, please pray for Tom. He was in a bad wreck. I walk into the kitchen where my wife is. I said, hey, I just got a text that said, please pray for Tom. He was in a bad wreck. She said, was he driving? I said, I don't know. I just got a text that said, please pray for Tom. He was in a bad wreck. Were Carol and the kids in the car with him? I don't know, I just got a text that said, please pray for Tom, he was in a bad wreck. Were the people in the other car hurt? I don't know, I just got a text that said, please pray for Tom, he was in a bad wreck. What hospital did they take him to? I don't know, I just got a text that said, please pray for Tom, he was in a bad wreck. She said, well, you don't know anything, what do you know? I know you need to pray for Tom, I just got a text that said he was in a bad wreck. And today we'll be getting down and dirty in his natural <laughs> habitat. Of course, Jeff's actual farm is in Georgia. This one? Eh, we just kind of borrowed it. So this is your farm vehicle here. You know, I brought this 1970 Challenger with the 426 Hemi engine because I thought you liked muscle cars. I love but, muscle cars. But we're on dirt. Are there any paved roads around here? You don't really have those on the farm, Jay. <laughs> now, where are you born, Richard? Where are you from? I grew up in a little town called Hapeville, okay. which is right by the airport in Atlanta. And it was like Mayberry. We walked yeah, everywhere. Right. My granddad was a fireman. You passed him on your way to school. and. Now, see, I, it took me a long while to believe this, because I used to do a bit about you. So I used to say, Jeff Foxworthy, you know, he's like the country guy, but when, when, when you're not around, he's on the phone. Yeah, look, all right, get the currency exchange out of Hong Kong. It's cheaper there. Convert those to Bitcoin. Howdy, folks, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm, just here, I'm just here telephone thing talking to people. And, and then, they're, they're known, but you really are the country guy. I really am. Yeah. Seriously, when I'm not working, yeah. I'm either on a tractor or a bulldozer. That's my escape. Yeah. Like yours is in the garage. Right, right. I'm working on the farm. How big is your farm exactly? It's about 3,000 acres. You got 3,000 acres, okay. And, and what do you grow on this farm? We grow corn, we grow soybeans, we grow alfalfa, yeah. and really big deer. Oh, and deer, you have deer. a lot of deer? A lot of yeah. deer, big deer. I bow hunt, so. Oh, okay, with a, with a bow and arrow? No, yeah. with a gun, I bow hunt with a gun. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite the... Uh... <laughs> Are you a good shot with a bow and arrow? I am. I uh, went up to the Yukon a couple of years ago, I wanted to hunt a moose on yeah. the ground. And yeah. Actually did that. Well, I guess you would have to hunt a moose on the ground because the yeah, flying moose. Yeah, not a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of moose All in right, the air. All right, we're tied 1-1. One, one yeah, now, okay, right. now we're 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Do you know, Jay, I found, you know how you used to keep the little pocket calendar where you had all your dates? Right, right, written? yeah. I found the one from my first year on the road. I did 406 shows, made $8,300. Wow. But because back then, if it was a 50 buck gig, that was yeah. huge. You'd spend 75 bucks to get to, to it. To get a 50 buck gig, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But I never wanted to be anything other than a stand-up comedian. Right, me neither. That's all I ever wanted. This always offended me because it's like, and you probably do this, where you're doing interviews and they say, oh, well, you work clean. Yeah. It's always kind of the implication that that means not as funny. Right. And so the challenge to me was, can I be as funny without doing that? Right, right. And it took work. The funny thing is, in the early days, whenever I would play in Atlanta, I would be opening for oh, the, the filthy. dirtiest yeah, yeah. guy that I worked with all year yeah, long. Yeah. I mean, some of these guys, you literally had to be a gynecologist to follow the act. You go, <laughs> now where is that? Wait, where is that in the woman? I, I don't, what part is that? Let's get back to cars. What was your first car? Well, the first, the very first car I had was a Pinto, lime green. A Pinto. Get out. Quarter pound. Get out. The first car I ever bought, Neil like this, yeah. was the two-tone Rally Sport Camaro. Oh, that's all right. That's much better. Yeah. All right, that's good. It was a four-speed. Right, right. And had the power booster, the equalizer. Right. Then I had kids and, you yeah. Know, you realize kind of your days in Coolsville are, are gone. Yeah, that, yeah. So. I think your days in Coolsville were gone 
way, way before, before that. that yeah. well, I'll tell you what. Have you ever driven a Porsche or a Lamborghini? No. I've arranged something. Seriously? Yeah, I've got a Porsche and a Lamborghini. Which one would you like to drive? The Porsche? Okay. We'll race. Even though I have more experience driving exotic cars, Jeff's got a fighting chance because these luxury vehicles are tractors. Nowadays, both these companies are known for their high-end cars, but Lamborghini initially started out making tractors and still makes them today. While Ferdinand Porsche, he produced tractors from the 1930s right up to the 1960s. So for our luxury farm race, we lined up two vintage tractors. And two appropriate outfits. Well, as you can see, I'm dressed as a typical Lamborghini owner. Jeff is dressed as a typical Porsche guy, some kind of tweed jacket, some kind of crap like that. What we're going to do is be racing the Porsche against the Lamborghini. Here are the rules, OK? We're going to weave in and out there, in and out the hay bales. When you get to the end, there are three hay bales there, OK? How, how many? Three. Three. Were you stupid? Were you deaf? No, I just never counted a tree before. OK, then you got to pick the three bales, you got to move them, and then weave through the bales coming back. And the winner will be the guy who won. OK? You understand? <laughs> I think I get it. All right. Let's give it a shot. On the count of three. Three. One, two, three. You know, it'd be a shame if Jeff was to have some kind of accident. Oh. Maybe the tractor blew up, or, you know, maybe something came from outside, hit him in the head. You know what I'm saying. Hey, there's a big surprise. The farmer won the race, so geez, I'm shocked. Yeah, anybody can win if you play fair, duh. How'd my dust taste, Jay? Well, I think you better make that <laughs> <laughs> oh. Since you're the guest. Right. You want to make me look good, right? Yeah, it'll make you look good. <laughs> Believe me, that's not easy. Where's the trophy? I got your trophy right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it would be bigger than that. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.